Samsung's Galaxy S23 series is coming in hot, supposedly in early February as per the latest information. Leaksters and analysts ban up to extract any kind of information from suppliers and spill out a ton of clues about what the device in question is going to be. So we can start making assumptions and forming expectations. What will be improved? Will the S23 be better than its predecessor? Is it worth waiting for the new model? Sure, we will get a new processor as we do every year, and it seems we will be getting a redesign more than a facelift. But what about camera improvements? Well, let's talk Galaxy S23 vs Galaxy S22, design, performance, camera, and battery. It's hard to imagine that Samsung can do anything to improve its screens currently. The manufacturer has perfected its AMOLED screens over a span of many years and the Galaxy S22 has excellent, sharp, vibrant displays. We expect nothing less from the Galaxy S23. We also imagine sizes and dimensions will stay the same, with both screens having a 6.1-inch diagonal, 19.5 to 9 aspect ratio. That'd mean that the resolution also stays the same, 1080 by 2340 for a packed 422 ppi density. Where we do expect to see a change is in the design. The Galaxy S22 series had two distinct looks, the S22 and the S22 Plus had that camera slab on the back fused to the phone's metal frame. The S22 Ultra has a fully flat back, with five metal rings protruding out to protect and hold its camera lenses plus the flash and focus sensors. As per the leaks, the Galaxy S23 series will have a unified design language, meaning the three models will look much more similar. And the design language Samsung has, reportedly, chosen to go with is the minimalist one. A flat back with protruding metal rings. Combine this with the fact that the S23 will most probably have a flat screen as opposed to rounded off edges, and it seems we are in for a very nice, boxy, simplistic, but elegant and functional phone. But to be fair, the Galaxy S22's flat sides and flat screen also make it a pleasure to handle. While we can't call it small, it's definitely a handy smartphone. Of course, we've no reason to believe that the underscreen fingerprint sensor will be going away. Samsung has improved the ultrasonic technology by quite a bit, and these have become fast and responsive over the past couple of years. Surely, the Galaxy S23 will make full use of that, but we have little to complain about with the Galaxy S22 scanner. Qualcomm has just announced the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2, and there are some bombastic promises. 35% faster performance, 40% better power efficiency. Wow, by all means, we do expect the Galaxy S23 series to have a bump in performance. It's only natural, as technologies get better and better. But if we see those numbers, that will be an awesome improvement over an already powerful Galaxy S22. What's even better? reports to say that in 2023, we will finally stop splitting the Galaxy S phones by Exynos variants and Snapdragon variants. Allegedly, all markets will get the Snapdragon processor. This is huge because the difference in Exynos and Snapdragon was not just raw performance. The two chips also process camera imagery differently, leading to a ton of confusion online. What Galaxy variant were these samples taken with which processor was used for this battery test? All of these questions will hopefully maybe become a thing of the past, However, we do know that the Galaxy S22 is still eligible for major updates, so we expect very little, if any, difference in the software of both phones. We remind you that Samsung has pledged four years of software support for its flagships and five years of ongoing security updates, meaning the Galaxy S22 will get Android 16 and call it quits in early 2026. The Galaxy S23 should receive Android 17 and then be done while rumors insist that the Galaxy S23 Ultra will get a huge improvement with a new 200-megapixel sensor, it seems that the regular S23 won't budge in terms of camera module. As per the latest reports, the Galaxy S23 will have the very same combo of cameras on its back, 50-megapixels main, 12-megapixels ultra-wide, 10-megapixels telephoto, as its predecessor. Now, of course, some improvements in post-processing are possible, especially with a new Qualcomm chip. But it remains to be seen if there are any major differences between photo quality from the two phones. Our guess is no, not because we are skeptical, but because the Galaxy S22's camera is already very, very good. However, we may see a couple of improvements. The Galaxy S23 is rumored to have a new 12 megapixels selfie camera, which is slightly higher res than the 10 megapixels sensor on the S22's front camera. Will that make a huge difference? Probably not, but we are curious to see why, if it's true. Samsung chose to make this tiny change. Also, there's a new ultra-stable mode for action video recording, allegedly one good enough to rival the iPhone 14's action camera mode. Early rumors say it will be on the Galaxy S23 Ultra, but we do hope it's a standard mode across the entire Galaxy S23 family. 
So the Galaxy S23 will have a slightly larger battery, 3900 versus the 3700 mAA in the Galaxy S22. This sounds promising considering the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2's improvements in energy efficiency. The Galaxy S22 already gave us a good 10 hours of screen on time with just browsing. That's pretty reliable as it is, but if the Galaxy S23 boosts it up by even a little, that'd be a win. We should hope for better gaming performance since heavy 3G applications did bring the Galaxy S22's battery quite fast. So if you own a Galaxy S22, should you be worried? Should you hurry to upgrade to a Galaxy S23 as soon as it comes out? According to preliminary data, no. But hey, fact is, smartphone tech is pretty mature now and we can't really expect major improvements every year, right? And thankfully, because smartphones have become quite pricey. On the flip side, if you are planning to buy a phone right now and you are wondering, should you take the plunge for a Galaxy S22 or wait for the Galaxy S23? We'd say wait for a while and you can buy a Galaxy S22 with confidence if it's not urgent and you can wait. Sure, let's see what that Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 can do. So that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to drop a like and subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. See you for the next time. Peace out.